Welcome back, guys. Today, I wanted to just go over a bit of my process and my philosophy behind uh, pitching vocals uh, with the built-in vocal pitch editor or pitch editor in Cubase 7. I've been using this since Cubase 5. I used to use um, Melodyne uh, before, but I found the process at the time in Cubase before Cubase 5, actually, where it was a bit tedious, where I had to fly in, you had to kind of record the tracks from Cubase to Melodyne and then back. found it a bit tedious, and I'm just basically just doing fine-tuning and corrections. So for this, for me, personally, it's more than enough. I don't need to buy a third-party plugin. This one does a fantastic job. Basically, this is a doom metal song. I'm just basically been asked to pitch these vocals before it goes to mix. Just give you guys a bit of a... Heads up, uh, what it sounds like. Help! Help! We'll be pitching this guy over here. So double click and you go to the Vary Audio and analyze it. Give it a second to analyze. Uh, it's a small section, but it's a full length file as you saw before. All right, so just to give you an idea of what it sounds like on its own. All right, so as you can see, I'll zoom in a bit. Basically, it analyzes all the pitch and the microtonal changes that, and vibrato and vibrations that, that's in the file. I'll come in here. My idea is, obviously, the center of the note is the most justified pitch. You can come here simply, and in this case, I'm pretty sure it would work. As you can tell, it's just a bit sharp. Okay, so you can basically just select this and say, I want to quantize the pitch. So you're going to bring it down. That should be already good. And then if you wanted to eliminate, so actually let's listen before I get ahead of myself. So it's already better. It's already in pitch. Obviously, there's still a bit of sharpness, sharpness, and a bit of flat. You can also, if you wanted to eliminate those and call it a day, you could just come in straight in pitch, and as you can see, it, it'll it make a straight line. It's great to see, but not great to hear, as you can tell. Help. You get that bit of that share effect. In this case, it's not so bad, to be honest, but I would never leave that. So what I like to do is I like to go in and cut where I think the note varies or where visually it varies. So let's cut it there, cut it there. A little more tedious, I agree. But in the end, I find you get better results. So I'll just bring this all down and I'll listen by ear. That sounds okay. Because the line I wanted in the middle of the note. See, there you go. Here he starts off pretty good and then goes down. This actually is probably the best exact pitch you need. So I'll just bring this guy down and then. I'll cut here as well. See, here's vibrato. It's not that bad. He does go a bit sharp. It looks worse than it sounds, to be honest. Uh, that's okay. See, here he went up pretty much. A, I'll, I'll bring it down. It's a bit drastic, but you m might not hear it. Okay. And then what I will do, I will use these guys. I will just use very little of them. Just a bit. More to just fine tune it and make it sit in the mix maybe a bit better. Okay, that's good enough for me. These little breaths at the end, you can bring them down, but I wouldn't really bother with them. Let's move on to the next guy. Okay, so obviously it went really sharp here. So, actually, I'll leave that guy alone. And with these guys, I'm going to have to check with this guy. I'm going to have to check against the vocals. So when I'm pitching the first vocal, I will listen to the vocal with the music and try to get the best I can perfect pitch. Then I will always pitch with the other vocals as a guide because, trust me, I've gone way too far and I've had to come back many times and realize that I should use the other guy, the other tracks as my guide. So... Let's listen to them here. So that's already pretty cool. And we'll continue with this guy where we were. I may not have all three or eight or how many vocals you do open. I'll always use one or two as a guide so that I know where I'm going when I'm pitching. 
Because sometimes you forget, you know, maybe I should be uh, semitone up here or not, you know. See here, I'm going to end up cutting this guy. Sorry, go back to the segments here and just cut him there. Maybe in a few spots. Let's hear what sounds like. Hey! There you go. I think this is going to be good. Much better. So here, again, same thing. Let me put a marker here. I'll start here. You can see he starts just a bit under. And he ends up being pretty even here and then ends up going sharp. All right. So there. That's pretty good. I shall bring it up. There you go. Sometimes I'll move these guys. Sometimes you really will, will not hear it in the mix, and it's just the beginning of the note. But when you have eight or nine or ten vocals, all these guys add up. So if you minutely adjust one, you know, a little microtone here, a microtone there on the third and the fourth, it's tricky sometimes. You may get lost. It, it ends up being worth it in the end. I find even, like, besides pitch correction, I find even in the mix, the vocals will just... They sit better in the mix. They 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 sound better as well. So it, it also goes psychoacoustically and like in the mix, you're almost like mixing your vocals a bit better. Help. All right, we'll check that against the other guy. Help. Just want to make sure. Help. All right, and let's hear this guy here. Help. All right. Right off the bat, I can tell he's sharp here. So, this is not that bad. So, there you go. So, obviously, that deep, he ends up being flat. That's not bad. And this, I know that he's already descending before the note is over, so I'll cut once more. I'll zoom in a bit. I'll cut again here and try to keep... All right. All right. That sounds a little more natural. And like I said before, in these type of situations, I could use a bit of this and a bit of that. And this should sound better together now. Save. Help. So, there you go. Help. Help. And that's pretty much what I do and uh, how I use the built-in uh, Vary Audio in uh, Cubase. Cubase 7, Cubase 8. I haven't tried 8 or 9 yet. I'm still on Cubase 7. It works for me. I'm sure they've improved it, and there's probably a whole lot of functions that I don't even know exist. But uh, I'll eventually get there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial of how to pitch vocals or just adjust vocals Michael tonally, uh, just so that they sound better together and obviously in the mix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.